Okay, I wasn't really planning on uh, doing a what if today, but it's starting to ra it's about to rain. So, oh, I might as well get this down and dirty. Uh, down and down and ready. Uh, I was actually trying to be subtle for what once, but we both know that this. We all know that Uncle Dylan is a fucking pervert sometimes. So let's just get to it. Away. Anyway, hello everybody, this is Dunkle Dylan here, Gotta Chaos, and today we are doing a one-shot of What If Deku Was In DC? Again! And you know I did one, last time. And you greedy bastards. Ah, but I'm not really mad, because you, all of you guys wanted for once that we, that you all have been asking for like the cunt expensive amount of time, like seriously, holy crap guys, not even a joke. Okay. For once, a straight what if. if. Now I was thinking of doing the hero, another hero killer what if, but that one's on hold for this what if. So be grateful. Well, because we all know I'm not a big fan of DC or Marvel. Actually, nor am I a big fan of fucking Looney Tunes, but meh. Yeah. But I do like some of the characters. Like, uh, oh, what was his one name? Bugs Bunny. I'm okay with him. He makes me laugh. He makes my day. But anyway, back to the what if. Now, in this one, I actually created an OC for this, so be amazed, I guess. This or don't. It's really up to you. I really don't give a shit. It. So yeah, in this one, Izuku is a little bit OP. Well, a little bit is an understatement because there's a lot of OP characters. In fact, he's not even even close to OP. He's just well powerful. That's it. In this one, he is a well a hybrid. How a hybrid, you might be asking? Well, in this one, he's this one is gonna be what if Deku was Wonder Woman's brother? Now a lot of I clean clean forgot about this what if idea. I was like, oh shit, I, I forgot about that. Which we both know I'm not a good memory because let's be honest, men don't really have that good memories, especially when you're making one shot what is every day and you're focusing on that that spicy little handbag, which is mostly chips. You get what I mean. I guess I gotta start wa stop watching Sergeant Dunky for a little bit. I'm starting to get his cunty attitude. Which is not a bad thing, but I feel like I'd be copycatting the bastard. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm a broken little floof. But anyway, back to the what if. If. Um, origin stories. Izuku is Amazonian, but... But he's a male Amazonian. So I went to the darker side of the Amazonians and find... I know that Amazonians rape men and then kill them, which is not a big surprise considering that there's only females on an island. And, but I still don't get why they need to repopulate their number. First, now Izuku's father was not stupid, but he was a Greek mythologist, so he knew what Amazonians would do. So immediately he would threat he threatened to shoot himself if he even tr if they even tried because he had a wife, and, and he was a holy little floofy. But the Amazonians didn't give a shit, and they took the gun, and they just raped him anyway. They attempted to kill him, but luckily, luckily, in his sake, he hoard an amulet that would summon a guardian and to defend them. And they were dumb enough to actually, actually not bring any weapon, weapon, so pretty much they were fucked. And this one was blessed. This one was blessed by Circe. Now Circe. He decided to play a little fuck you to uh, Wonder Woman's mom. And in this one, Izuku is, um, well, he's a furry. Right. Right. And what type of furry you might be? Actually, do rhinos even have fur? Uh, my, no, no, they don't. Oh, I don't think rhinos even count as a furry. Do they? Oh, you all are just a bunch of cunts, aren't you? We're gonna lose this battle. Anyway! Hey, eh? let's get back to the what if before I actually start angrily acting like a demon. 
Man, because right now I'm actually a cunt of annoyance. It's, now, oh, Isuka Midoriya in this one, on like I said, he is a well, he has a beast quirk. But due to I cannot find a rare a rare rhino that's not butt ass naked, get you're gonna stick with the picture of the slut. Now you're all probably thinking, how can you say Wonder Woman's a slut? She is pretty. Hey, pretty my ass. As, now look, I know how many of you are probably thinking, hey Dylan, how can you hate Wonder Woman? I mean, do I really need to answer that? I played Injustice 1 and 2. What type of bastard literally does that? And, and doesn't move on. Like seriously. That's just stupid. That's why I was pissed playing Injustice. I was like, yeah, I always knew that bit it was a bitch, but I didn't even know she was a fucking cunt. But now this one I'm gonna do the Injustice version, because you didn't say what type of DC you wanted me to do. Oh, so I figured, fuck it, I'm gonna do the Injustice version. And Aftermath. I know, I know you're all probably thinking, Aftermath, why not he be in the actual Injustice? Why? Well, number one. One, um, I actually do not remember how, how it goes, because it's been such a fucking long time since I played it. Yeah, literally. All, if you guys remember Injustice, then you know what it's like. And plus, I had to replay it. Unfortunately, I also have to get a new disc because the start because the disc is incredibly old. So I have to probably get a new one. one which I hate so much. Watch, literally, it pisses me off. Huh. Though, that's what, that's what I get for getting a Injustice on a disc. <sighs> And what's worse, I didn't even know you can download it back then. I literally had a PS4, and I forgot, didn't even know. My first game on the PS4 was Injustice, because back then I had a PS3. I didn't even know you can download shit on the damn thing until it was too late. So I was thinking in my head, oh, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> anyway, back to the what if. He's so seriously decided to give one last fuck you to, to um, whatever the fucking, whatever the fuck her name is, and gave birth to a Beastiomorph. The Amazonians thought that she was cursed. Circe just burst out laughing like a cunt says she is, even though I play as Circe in the DC Universe Online. Yes, I play that game. Amy, if you want to know where I am, just look for Dunkle Dylan. Because I could not, in my life, for some fucked up reason, put hands of chaos. I was actually offended that they shortened it. Like, you've seen some of the shit, like, in DC names, like XX. X the cunt expensive. If like seriously. And plus, what type of name is the Dickinator? I'm sidetracking. Ring. But anyway, back to the what if. So yeah, uh, Izuku was a male, which made it worse because us Wonder Woman always wanted a sibling, but unfortunately, like that sibling backfired when she when he became a beastiomorph. Or now, seriously. Well, Wonder Woman knew that Cersei had a plan in this. It's, but what they don't know is that she was... Who they tried to fuck was Cersei's his husband. Yes, Inko Midoriya is Wonder Woman's sister in DC Online, Cersei. But in this one, Cersei didn't really want his her child to live well like that. So Cersei decided to take Izuku in. And even though he knew that she was not her biological kid, she still cared for him. Oh, shit. I mean, male or not. I, uh, that's half the reason why I'm okay with Cersei and why we get along a lot better. She's literally not, well, a horny bitch. Because, let's be honest, how many, let's be honest with you disgusting cunts. How many of you want to fuck uh, Wonder Woman right in the frickin' get glory hole? Let's admit it, you guys are just dirty bastards. It's, I don't even like Wonder Woman. Like, and you already know that because I called her a cunt twice. Nope, seven times. I called her a cunt seven times. For some reason, I always thought in my mind that she was a fucking whore. Whore. I always knew she was a whore, though, because I can't remember how many times she slept with people. Or that Starfire. No, it's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's a bigger slut than Starfire, because Starfire you're, is not that bad. Anyway, back to the what if. And mind you, all the DC heroes that were male are female. Now you're all probably thinking in your head, wait, doesn't that mean shouldn't Dylan, I mean, shouldn't he Wonder Woman be a male? No, because then it would just fuck everything up. 
Uh, so, Izuku was raised in... I was thinking in Gotham, but really, the Inko got into hiding and started to live if in... Well, actually, no. Gotham would be a perfect place to hide. So yeah, Izuku was raised in Gotham. Why Gotham? Because it's pretty. And also, it's the last place that anyone, especially say Wonder Woman, would think that Cersei would go. Because, well, it's her domain. She literally stopped actually being a hero because she promised her husband that he would stop. Which is, let's admit it, a joyful thing to do. Nope. Because, if we're all being honest here, here a, I always make Inko a bastard. But, not in this one. She is a caring, loving mother who cares about Arizuku. Nope. So, over the past year, she does use magic, but not to the point where Wonder Woman would know. Oh, but mostly she uses it for self-defense, especially against people like Grundy. Grundy, Bane, and she, like I said, she stopped. And Batman and figured it out pretty quickly, but he didn't give a shit because she, he has an attempt to murder. Like, at all. Oh. So, oh, when Izuku... We start with Izuku, who's a beast, your morph. Morph who's just walking down in the streets. And due to it always being fucking dark for some reason, Izuku wasn't really mad. Now, he mostly wandered around in his home. Now, his home wasn't really that much, I should say. It was fancy, but it was still a bitch to, well, mind. Now, Izuku's weapons of choice, I'm going to pull a For Honor on this one. You all should know I play For Honor. Is a fucking executioner blade that the knights used back then. Due to it, Izuku being literally the hot, the size and having the muscles of the Hulk, well, literally Izuku is tall as a Hulk because he's a fucking were I know those things ain't small. Oh, believe me, I know. Oh, oh, have you seen the fucking height of a Minotaur? If that's a Minotaur, imagine a fucking okay, rare. Imagine a freaking rhinos. Sheesh. That's the last animal I would really want to piss off anyway. But in this one, I'm going to be a nice cunt and say that Izuku has good eyesight because Rhino's eyesight, let's be honest, is shit to high heaven. Like, you can give them glasses and they'll still be, be territorial because their vision is not that perfect. That doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Chris? So anyway, back to the idea. Yeah, before I fucking forget who I am. Am into mild depression. He's in this one also is knows a little bit of fighting. His father taught him boxing. So he wasn't really much of a fighter though, but he knew how to learn just in case he faced people like Joker's Man, Killer Croc, uh, that type of guy. Because like I said, Izuku hates violence, but he will still do it just in case. And Cersei works as a well. She just works at Gotham. She actually works at one of the days. Yes, I can't remember the freaking uh, name. Hey. But he hate. But he knows what his mother did. And, and he really doesn't mind because he just doesn't care. He really doesn't give two shits. God damn it. Fucking berserker. You are a disgrace to the Vikings. Ace, go fuck a bitch. <sighs> I really gotta stop raging over these games. I have the patience of a fucking cunt. Anyway. Wait, so Cersei, he knows what Cersei did and he really doesn't mind because he told, she told the ungodly truth to him at the age of six and why he shouldn't meet his mother. And why she wouldn't care. So he really didn't mind it. Even though he was Wonder Woman's sister, my brother. But in this one, Wonder Woman was literally already a god. So in this one, I'm going to say Izuku's the god of... Hmm... Actually, no. He's still a human. But here's the thing. Hasashi was a Kryptonian. Yes, I said I was going to make him, in, make him a badass. I'm going to make him a badass. So yeah, he was a Kryptonian. And, but Hasashi is one of those old Kryptonians. Like, he knew what happened to his Earth more than anyone. The only difference is he was frozen in ice. And he woke up the same day 
and that Superman was in his prime, aka 20s. So, when Izuku, who came across asked the new wife, he wasn't really that much of a fighter, like I said. But he was a freaking... He had his father, his love for history. Which is not that bothersome if you really think about it. it but in the real, at the same time, Izuku was also a bloody, bloody guy. Like, like he did not mind, I mean, to kill if he really had to. So now we get back to him. Now Izuku is just minding his own business, walking down the street until he's approached by a guy and a, a girl in a bat suit. What the fuck? Um, can I help you? I hope you would. And you are... Mind you, this is a female version of Bruce Sain. It's not bat... at woman. But like I said, I'm gender bending. There will be some gender bended people like bat... at woman will be Batman. So don't be fucking confused. Who are you? The name's Batwoman. Okay, can I help you? I'm looking for the Joker. Who? Oh, wait, Joker. Is she the creep? Is she the crazy clown that's been trying to attack me for the past three weeks? That's the one. <sighs> can I ask you something, then, Batwoman? What? Why didn't you not kill her? Because it would be too easy, correct? Yes. Look, I get it. We all have our woman. We all have our codes and everything, but. Some people, like Joker, don't need it. And let's be honest, one of these days, she is going to die. Like, by someone. Let's admit it. Yeah, I was thinking of doing an injustice, but this is when, this is the different timeline where Batman did and not... Where Batman did not do that. And the nukes were never launched. Because, well, number one, Izuku thinks, have you seen if he ha she has a nuke? Why would she have a nuke? Um, this is Joker. It could be anything. Maybe she's trying to use it to fool, oh, Kryptonian, fool, what's his name? Supergirl? I mean, Superwoman? Superwoman. Clark. Is that her name? What makes you think so certain? Think. Think. He wants something to happen. Either to break her mind or break her will to not kill. Remember, Superwoman is a bitch. Bitch. Batman, Batwoman's thinking. Well, Bruce, thinking, why is he calling her a bitch? Clark's not that bad. Right? Also, he's weak minded. He thinks that, that his code would keep him around, but really, let's be honest, the, he's so old, he's older. So if he lost someone like his mother or father, or or the death of someone he cares about, out that's gonna be a thing. Oh my God! Do you have any idea where she where he is? Even if I did know, oh, I wouldn't know what to do. Besides, this is where my my side stays out of it. What do you mean? You can put this up with the Justice League. Leave me out of it. You're not going to help? No, this is not my fight. Hey, this is your damn fight, not mine. Right. Unlike you guys, I actually like to keep my life. If, or And also, I don't want, want to be shot at. So, no, thank you. Bye. He starts walking home. Then Batman just disappears. <sighs> I can't wait to get home. A cup of coffee and a book. Uh, I could use a book. Mind you, Izuku also wears glasses because, well, poor vision. Well, he doesn't have good vision, but he doesn't have bad vision. Like I said, he mostly just uses them for reading. Because let's be honest, reading would be fan fucking tastic. But unfortunately, we both know that that's not gonna work. So, when Izuka got home, he just sees some fucking slutty woman on his, in his room. 
This is when he says, Mom, we got a slut here. That's not very nice. No, some bitch wearing striped stars on her on her panties are in my room. Wonder Woman's thinking, rude much? You know you're just you know you're trespassing, right? I'm aware of this. Mom, I'm coming, son. I'm cut. Diana. No. No. Hello, oh seriously. What do you want? Uh, should I go to your father? Okay. It, I just need... And this one, she puts a curse spell on her that will force her to have nothing but to have a paralyzed body. <sighs> nope. Oh, you're not going near my son. What do you want with him? Why should I tell you? This one, needs seriously drives the last one of truth and just wraps it around her neck. Tell me what you want with my son. And this is when it starts choking her. I can't hear you. I just want to talk to him about... I need his help. Help. Oh. Hmm. You know, I would say okay, but I am now concerned for my son's life. Why do you want him? Why do you care? I, 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 that wasn't my aunt. That's not an answer. What it... What do you want with him? And, and what do you need his help with? Joker's planning something. And he's... He's a child. He's only 15. He's not a warrior. And he hates violence. He only uses it for emergencies. He's, Wake up, Diana. He's a male. No, and I know you're kind. I know you're sexist. This one, Diana's thinking, is that truly how low you think I would go? Diana, you literally want Clark's dick in your pussy. Of course, of course I think so. The only reason you want him because, as A, he can give you a powerful child. And due to you found out, I bet you found out that my son's Kryptonian, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, you can't have him. He's my son. I raised him. He's mom's son. I went and did she ever cared for him? Well, I'm li I'm waiting. What, name one time she cared for my son. What? She doesn't say a word. Yeah, that's what I thought, you fucking slut. Now get out of my house. And if I refuse, oops, then Clark is going to be a pig. You wouldn't. Try me. Diana. Diana just has the most angry look on her face ever. Uh, if, if, I, if, Gret, if death glares were bullets, she'd be shooting shells out of them. So this is when, seriously, to pretty much teleports her away from her home. <sighs> Fucking prick. And greedy woman. fucking hate her kind. What a slut. Um, Dad just came home. Oh, good. But I need to talk to him. Um, son, can you... Who? Mm, look, son, I know you hate violence, but you're gonna have to use it one day. Yeah, I do. It's from jo the Joker's men. You do hold back your punches, right? Of course I hold back my punches. Mom, what type of... I'm a person you think I am. I don't kill without a reason. That's what you told me. That's my son. Huh. Good, big guy. Uh, you're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I swear you're like Luffy from... You're like Goku from one... From Dragon Ball. Or was it One Piece? That's Luffy, Mom. Um, and yes. Yes, I'm like Go Luffy. The only difference is I don't like violence. But, and I'm not a fucking slut like Goku. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. And after the talk, when uh, is Hasashi came home, did they hurt you? Nah. Ah. I'm fine. Right. Say, I got an idea. Why don't I help join Batman's team? 
What? But you'll get... Mom, I'm a freaking tank. And besides, he's a, she's a better influence on me. And you know it. Or I could... Sounds suicidal. Join Red Hood. But you don't like killing people. Mom, I'll be killing bad guys. Bad guys, I don't mind. Especially if they're fucking pedophiles. You know me. Yes, I do. And I know you hate pedophiles more than you hate... It's your... Aunt. Why are all three of you attacking me? What the fudge? <sighs> Where's the guards when you need them? Now, back to Izuku. Oh, because this is just Mercs. A.K.A. the guard. Now the guard, or A.K.A. Izuku, pretty much moved up the ranks. What I mean moved up, I mean he made sure not to cause any trouble. Well, because it's his code. But when Izuku actually, actually started helping Red Hood, they actually actually found her. Right, so we get to Izuku first. <sighs> time to break. Time to break you. Huh? And this one, Izuku just bunk Unks female Bane. I know, I normally I would probably do a female Bane ship on this one, but not happening. But anyway. And I bet a lot of you probably thought of that. Good job. Good guess, though. But nope. Oh, that's not the ship. You must be Red Hood. And you are the name Izuku. Nice to meet you. Thanks for saving my aid. You owe me. <laughs> okay. What do you want? To help you. Why? Now, number one, the Justice League is trying to force me to join, and I don't feel like doing it. You want to join the Outlaws. You got a better idea to lay low? Okay, what can you do? Let's talk to my mom and dad first. Oh, no. And before you ask, they already know who you are. Alright, they just want to make see what you can do. Okay. This is when they get there. Ah, ah. Hey, Mom. I'm home. Hey, son. Oh, you brought a guest. You must be Red Hood, no, also known as Jason Todd. Uh, yeah. Your mom is Cersei? Well, stepmom. She didn't birth me, but yeah. Uh, technically, she's my aunt, but a mother figure is not someone. A mother figure is someone who raises you and shows you the good and bad. You do realize killing people is bad. No, that's just something we do. Raping people is bad. <sighs> you know why I can't even be rep mad at that? Ah, got told ya. Well, anywho, this one seriously says, it explains the situation. Wow, that actually makes sense. So are you okay with him joining? S yeah. This one gets it. Wait, Izuku's a half Kryptonian Amazonian? Oh boy. Yes, but he was right, but he knew how to. No, yes, but he's a boxer. Wait, you trained him how to use bo training him in boxing, even though you could have taught him magic? He doesn't have the mana. Oh no. Yeah, no I don't. Oh, I barely even know how to lit I barely even know how to use a freaking healing magic. Like, well, you know, we could use a tank. I don't see why not. Great! Hey. A hopeful smile from Izuku, and Jason's like, "Oh fuck, oh, that's adorable." Oh yes, the ship is this one. Dump. I bet I'll have you probably like, "What? This is gonna be interesting." <laughs> but anyway, before we can, after we continue. Ugh, you fucking cunts. I hate your kind. You fucking prick. Anyway, with Izuku, who, who is now just as with Jason Todd, he just this one we get Jason to meet Bizarro and um 
Um, I actually don't remember her name. I know Red Arrow joined. This is when Bizarro says, who, who big man? I mean, who... Who ugly man? Fuck you too! No, 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 no. That's just opposite speak. He's Bizarro. He's from another world. Hey? Actually, no, I'm gonna do the outlaw thing, so yeah. Ah, this is when Itsuka says, Oh, so it's the opposite speak. Correct. Ugh, you fucking lawnbringer. Or you freaking Highlander. Fuck off. I hear you. Anyway, when Izuku decided to move up to the world, I mean move, he waved goodbye to his mom and dad. You can imagine seriously actually tearing up because his little boy, her little boy is leaving. But she knew it was the right thing to do to protect him. So with Izuku, who I know that, they met Bizarro. Okay, nice to meet you, Bizarro. I'm Izuku. Uh, oh, nice to meet you, too. Ooh. Ow, what's her problem? Um, she's still trying to get used to the opposite speak. Ow. With these who was drinking a cup of coffee. Do you have cream in that? Yeah, I actually got another batch. You want some? Huh, sure. So, do you know who I am? Yeah, I also know what Joker did. I thought my mom was low. Oh. So, wait. Your mother cursed you. For reasons. Turns out my mom found out that I was going to be a boy and they were going to kill me. But she knew that was not going to happen. That and also, they did rape his, her husband, so she was a little bit pissed. Pissed is an understatement. I mean, if someone raped your lover, would you be happy? Uh, no, I actually would probably be pissed as well, so I'm not even mad at your mom for pulling that stunt. Good. Because I'm not even mad at her. I'm actually glad she did that. Because her explaining that I would have been killed because I can't control because of fate, then you know that she's a fucking bitch. Heh. <laughs> can't argue with that logic. So, anyway, this is the Outlaw's head headquarters. Huh. Unfortunately, Bizarro won't be staying with us. Huh? Why? Eh, reasons. Pretendedly disbanding, or was, until you came along. Unfortunately. Is it for reasons? Yeah, reasons, unfortunately. A sad look comes from Night Red Hood. But it's for the best. But anyway, so what can you do? I'm a half, I can bo I know boxing, I'm a Kryptonian, and an Amazonian mix. I'm also, well, has the durability of a rhino. No, so you can imagine it. Okay, that's actually not a bad one. Any downsides? It's, I'm colorblind, but that's it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking Highlanders. Anyway, before I lose my temper, they explain their strategy. Okay, so we do that, and that's it? Yep.
Anywho, so that's it. Yep. Why don't I teach you some other things? Like what? But, and this one he is Izuku's been trained like Batman has. So he's a little bit more buff. Oh, oh what am I saying? He's buff as a fucking Hulk. He just knows a little bit more martial arts. Actually, no. Oh, Jason decided to get a book on how to use sumo wrestling. Like, I know it sounds weird, but have you seen Hulk? It makes sense. Hence, the best part is he doesn't have to fucking eat that much. I'm not making him a chubby bastard. Unless I'm doing an X-Men one, then I'm probably gonna make him like the blob. How the fuck did you even hit me? Me. Anyway, before I lose my patience between this Highlander with his his tiny little toothpick of a blade. You cunt. Cunt. Ha! Cunt! And anyway, with Izuku, who is now... Who has been training with Jason for the past three weeks. This is when they start to do their first mission. So, when the first mission did come... Um, lady, I'm fighting the raider. Go fuck a dildo. Oh. And you take my kill. Of course your kind takes my kill. That's the only thing you're good at. Fuck off, warmonger. Go fuck your girlfriend. Anyway, when Izuku managed to get up, get dressed, and that's when they do their first mission. And their first mission is something abrupt. Mostly, it's a fucking suicide mission. Suicide mission, you might be thinking? Yes, because well, it's mostly it's a bunch of... Because they're going to go face the Joker, and they're going to end him once and... Well, her, once and for all. And Izuku immediately knows... Oh, is what Joker can do. So he ain't fucking stupid. So he pretty much gets ready to have laughing gas masks just in case. Now, Izuku's choice of clothing. Izuku wears a tank top, up a leather jacket that's made of the same material that can actually have bulletproof. Oof. A vest is under the freaking thing because, well, Izuku likes to be a jackass. As in, he thinks that so people think he's weak. Make sure he has the durability skin of a Kryptonian and due to his magic. But he just is not... That doesn't mean he's not immune to Krypton kryptonite, right? But it does the opposite effects on him due to him having magic. So it doesn't make him as weak as Superman. Like, he doesn't fall to the ground. All it did is just makes him high, actually. No, really. That's what it does. It just makes him high. That's it. So, when Izuku came across the new and improved of the cunt expensive... <laughs> He pretty much came to crop on the new and improve him. Now, like I said, his weapon of choice is a type of axe, which the Greeks or Roman used back in the day. I forgot what the axe is called. If my mom was here, I'd probably ask her, but she's doing laundry. Okay, so I can't ask her, unfortunately. Even though she knows more history than a fucking JLA, a sports fan. And, and that's saying something. Anyway, when they got done with the new and improved of them, and because, well, they're pricks, they literally mess with the wrong crew. Because when they get to the new the base, they find them. And it was not easy, trust me. It was actually quite interesting, to say the least. Like, they actually had to look around. <laughs> Now, with Izuku, who is now just minding his own business, really. Like I said, Izuku's not really the big guy, not much of a big fan. But he's also not a big fan of sleep. Izuku hates sleeping. Even he does not know why. That's also his down outside. He doesn't like sleeping. Like, at all. He hates sleep. I know you're probably thinking, how can you hate sleep? Sleep is terrible. Well, unfortunately for you guys, I also hate sleep. But when I do sleep, I actually cherish them. So don't think, think because I don't like sleeping doesn't mean I hate I don't, don't hate it. I just don't trust it. Sleep, to me, is evil. Well, you all can disagree saying, but we need it for our bodies. Well, true, but I only get four hours of sleep. Ugh, I can already hear in the comment. I'm saying, hey, Dylan, how the fuck are you waking up, up then? 
Everyone needs their sleep. How do you just sleep for that long? Ugh. Oh, spare me. Spare me the righteousness of a, the words of I don't care. Yeah, no, really, I really don't. Anyway, back to the what if. So now we get to Izuku with the base and with, with his new life. Izuku gets homesick from time to time, but he knows it's for the best. He knows. This is when Izuku said, actually asked, Hey, um, Jason, can I ask you something? Sure. Are you straight or lesbian? <laughs> <coughs> what type of question is that? You don't just plainly ask. So, it's a straight answer. Well, yeah, I'm straight. Why are you asking? I'm just surprised. Surprised at what? That you don't have a girlfriend. I mean, that you don't have a lover. I mean, you're really pretty. Jason blushes. I... I wait. Are you a furry? Sh shut up! Oh my god. You're into animals. Does it sound bad? Dude. I mean, dudette. I'm a fucking rhino. And I'm not even mad at that. Do writers even have fur? No, we don't. We just have skin. Well, well, Izu, this is when Jason realizes he's naked get, and blushes. What? P put some clothes on! Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, how do you forget that you're not wearing clothes? I was in the shower. And I was going to grab a towel. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, you good? Y yeah. Um, just put some clothes on. Okay. Hey, Jason's thinking, God, why does he have to be hot? Hot. <sighs> oh, well. Well, I'm stuck with him. He's a nice guy, though. Oh. Anyway, this is when pretty much... Let's take it to Izuku. And he's just heading to his room. Until he hear, hears... I know this is when he thinks something's uh, not right. He immediately thinks that, like, instantly, like, something's not right. He starts to look around left and right, thinking that something's gonna pop out and attack him. No, really, that's what he was thinking. And he's right. This is when he sees someone. Not someone he wants to meet, either. He takes a closer look to see... Meet someone. This one he says, Oh, shit. It. It. Um, Jason? Yeah? Your mom's here. That's not funny. No! Oh, Bat Woman! Bat Bruce! Oops. I die! And it's when he accidentally kicks her so hard. Oh, she got through the walls. Ugh! Sorry. He, ow, this one, Brute. This one, Jason, just laughs at her. <laughs> I told you one of these days you're going to spook someone that's going to do that. <laughs> Very funny, Jason. And I try. <sighs> oh! yeah. This one, Izuku, comes out. My bad. And <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm the one who spooked you. This one, Batman, this one, right, Jason's thinking, wait, he said sorry? That's a first. Um, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for the off for anyway. Hey, this one, Batman, sees it. Why are you naked? I was gonna grab a towel. I just got out of the shower. Bruce can only look down. Hey, pervert, eyes up here. This one, he just hands her the cape. Here, you can use it to cover yourself. <laughs> Thanks! And he just covers it himself. Oh. Ow, were you thinking what I was thinking, Jason? Yep. I would not mind that. That's when they look at each other. Aw, oh, fuck. What about you and Catman? We broke up. Up, like, two years ago. Oh. Um, guys, I am right here. 
If you want to ask me out, you could just ask. You actually don't mind? Nah. Eh. You'd be surprised how many Beastian Wars live. But I'm literally... Bruce? Bruce, you're a good girl. You're not that bad. Besides, I wouldn't mind it. And besides, I don't think no one would care about a threesome. This is what he thinks. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> I guess I can. But on one condition. No killing? Like, if necessary? Yeah, no killing if necessary. What about Joker? <sighs> After what he did, she did, you can do it. Wait, seriously? What did she do? She kidnapped your parents. Ow! Oh, this one, Izuku, just says, yells, What? Oh, boy. I'm going to kick her head in and, and make her wish she was raped by fucking King Ares of God of War. Or, no, I'm going to make her wish she died from a symbiote. No, I'm going to make her wish she died from two girls, one cop. Ah, yeah. Last thing you want to do, piss off someone's parents. How come he didn't come out? They, uh, you, she used sleeping gas. <sighs> With Izuku, who comes to the base, should we help him? Let's stick to the shadows. He can be a distraction while we get Cersei seeing Hasashi out. Smart! <sighs> and try your best not to kill people. You're not the same brute Batman we know. I'm not. Uh, the other Batman stayed a temporary coma. Then who are you? Who? He smirks. Wait. Ash? Ash? Shh. Let's go. Okay. But I thought you'd be okay killing. Yeah, for time. Here we are. This is when we get there. This, mind you, we're dead at full the, um, oh, that's a good one. The Damian Wayne, I mean, not Damian Wayne, um, I'm reading, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aha! Ah, the Nightwing becomes Batman thing. That's what we're pulling. So, Nightwing becomes a new Batman. Why? The old one's retiring. Gotham needs us. So, like I said, try not to kill people. I got a better idea. Yeah. On this side of the turf, I take care of this. I do the killing. On your side, you do the, we do the spare on your side. Deal? <sighs> Deal. Deal. Oh, I can't believe you actually agreed to that. Well, let's just say we don't want a toxic relationship. By the way, you fooled me, you being Batman. I know. Does he know? I know, because you have the intercoms on. Whoops. Sorry. And by the way, um, what restaurant do you do like? <coughs> um, I'm a burger type of woman. You? Chinese. There's a Burger King. There's a Burger King and a sushi. There's a golden, uh, what was it? Red Rose and uh, Burger King. I think we could go there after this. Aren't you going to be focused on your wife? If, let's just say my wife is going to be cussing her head off to the point she's going to be hungry. Great. She is not soft with her words. They hear seriously say, If you don't let me go, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to curse you and turn your fucking dick into the size of a penny. I'm a penny. Ow, told you. She, she knows how to threaten the males. Well, she's not a big fan of women. My man, this is when Izuka snaps after one of the men's neck and just jabs his horn. <laughs> Oh, I hate that! What? A damn villain thought it'd be a good idea to try to land on my my horn! But now his gro butt is in it! Let get out! <coughs> Come on there! What a hunk. They're both uh, Dick and Jason are thinking. And 
Like I said, I am going to do other what-ifs. Now, this one is called the All-Female Society, or All-Female DC, EAU. I forgot to mention that. Nope, this is still Wonder Woman's brother. We're just going to call it there. <sighs> now, when Izuku pretty much uh, kills last of Joker's goons... I know I'm going to do a Justice as Aftermath, but this is the other version. Like I said, there is like hundreds, if not thousands, of... Freaking AUs of DC. Like, it's no fucking joke. Book. <whistles> Azuka starts walking in. And now, this is when he sees Harley. She is shaking like a leaf. Azuka points at back saying, Run. And she runs. Harley, what are you doing? Fuck you, Mr. J. I'm not stupid. And <laughs> Man, even your own girlfriend dumped your ass. Yes. Yes. Ah. Well, you won't be laughing once I... Hey, as she see is that, uh, they're gone. Ha, 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 Uh, where's the cactus? She looks up to see Jason and Batman. <laughs> Batsy, are you gonna arrest me? Nope. Uh, what? Ah! And he's gonna chop pounce on her. And starts doing God knows what with me and the DC gods. They, we just watch it. They just watching horror while I'm just bursting out laughing. <laughs> oh, he's actually gonna put that. <laughs> Aries says, "You are a sick, you are a sick, twisted being. I don't. I'm the god of chaos. And besides, I've done way worse. Like what?" Oh yeah, the Colossus what if. Duh! Oh, silly little god. I pat his head. head. Anyway, let's continue watching. After Izuka got done uh, massacring or disgracing the corpse. Okay, let's go to that date. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You two are date? You're dating Batman and Rock Red Hood? Yeah, and we're gonna get something to eat. You wanna come? Um, could be a double date. Sure, why not? Yeah, that sounds fine. I get to know my... By the way, I want three kids. <coughs> Mom! <laughs> uh, we haven't even done... We haven't even kissed yet. Well, there's always a first time. I'm... By the way, I didn't know you two were furries. <laughs> For the... Actually, we agreed that rhinos aren't furries. We don't know what they are. Yeah, but they are technically an animal. Well, that lives on land. You know there are some people who are actually into fish, right? Yeah, I noticed that. Eh, whatever. Her rocks their boat. Boat. <laughs> Maybe next time. Anyway, when they get back and they manage to start eating their food, everyone looks at Izuku like something. Are you sure you don't want Are you sure you're okay showing yourself? Meh, I'm seeing. This is Gotham. They shouldn't even be surprised. This is when one of the kids say, hey, hmm? are you an actual rhino? <laughs> yes, I am, kiddo. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! Can I take a picture? Um, sure? And that's when Izuka gets a selfie with half the kids. <laughs> anyway, I gotta eat my food, okay? Alright. Hey, don't bother him. I'm so sorry. Bye, it's fine. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> anyway, I should continue eating. And that's when they continue eating. Thing until a freaking shield tries to hit Izuka, but Izuka grabs it. <sighs> All right, can you worry? I'm trying to eat. Eat, Wonder Woman. <sighs> you can wait, lady. Hey, we are fighting now. <sighs> this one, Wonder Woman charges at him, but the sword breaks as soon as it hits Izuku's sin. <sighs> Izuka punches her so hard, or it breaks her ribs. <sighs> This one, everyone's saying, wow, what a rude woman. But how are you a hero, Wonder Woman? But go back to where you came from. Oh, eh. And people say, Joker's a mean woman. At least she has the manners of wait before letting someone eat their food. Yeah, he's right, yeah. Ah, I am being such a cunt to Wonder Woman. But like I said, I hate, I'm not a big fan of Wonder Woman or Superman, actually. I hate them both. 
I don't know why. For some reason, I'm into the dark, emo, and depressing type of people. Maybe that's actually how I met my boyfriend, because he was being... Because he likes... He's being depressing. For some reason, the gothic thing just knows how to turn me on. Don't judge me. Me. But not the fat goth women. No, 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 no. You already know I'm into men more than I'm into women. So, let's continue the what if before, um... I start sinning to myself, because, let's be on it, this here, people. Oh, we love being dirty. That's a minute. It's dirty. <laughs> anyway, after that incident... Sorry about the pause. So yeah, that's about it. When an Izuku pretty much sees Superman flying down. I mean, well, Superwoman. If this is about me joining your regime, you can suck my dick because that ain't happening. But I wasn't really gonna ask. Or was I? I'm letting you. Oh, this one Izuku finished his burger. Hold up, you two. I'm gonna go take care of him. Superman, well, Superwoman, charges at Izuku, but Izuku stands up and just pretty much holds her. Ah, nice try. This one, Izuku says, well, I get to do what Bane did. Break the Man of Steel. And this one, Izuku, with all his force, breaks Superman's back. Ack. And pretty much just throws him to a side. Well, that takes care of that problem. So, oh, oh, thanks for the meal. Well, uh, what's the main price? Um, Consider this one on the house due to the terrible incident. Plus, your uh, girlfriend's paid it. What? This one, I see them leaving a tip. <sighs> That's them, all right. So when they when uh, Cersei and these Hasashi, aka Inko approved of the them dating then it pretty much went stop it pretty much went good there izuku had to prove to bruce wayne and that he was a good gonna be a good girl boyfriend and that's when they also cited the d she'd have some um oh well, what the fuck am i saying they went on a couple more days they started kissing loving each other and they still do their hero hero thing until a couple of years when they before they got married <laughs> wait what you two are pregnant yeah, I hope you're cool. Um, you do realize that means you can't fight anymore. What? We have, uh, ladies. I'm not taking no for an answer. You two are pregnant. And besides, we don't want to scare the living crap out of our kids when I explain to them. Oh, your mother died. Hey, okay. this when they both think, ah, uh, damn it, he's right. Eight. So, do this me, do me this small favor and just stay home. I'll take care of everything. Besides, 50 bucks say seriously probably overheard this conversation and she's going to arrive right... And this when the door opens. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh. Hello, you two. How did you... I'm a sorceress. I know. Oh. So, are they a boy or a girl? We just took the test. Oh. oh. Well, let me help you in learning about how to take care of kids. Wait, how do Arrow? Oh, oh, right. You took care of Izuku. <laughs> anyway, what about Superman? Superman's back is complete. Well, Superwoman's back is completely paralyzed, and Diana was exiled from her people. Bull. Have they tried to declare war? Because. Nope. They didn't even try because of how, how I managed to do the impossible and par completely paralyze Superman. Yikes, that's thunder. Yeah, like I said, there's a storm coming my way, so that's why I'm doing this what if now. Get the fuck out my way. You fucking woolen piece of shit. Cunt. Anyway, back 
I'd do it. And before you guys ask, I will probably do an Irish character, because I keep saying cunt for some reason. And that, and also it's kind of fun to say. Cunt. You're a fucking cunt and a disgrace to the society of men. And I wonder... No, oh, that'd be interesting. Anyway, back to that. Actually, that's about it. It because Izuku mostly became Gotham's new hero, and they not has that yeah ah, fucking cunt onto the tongue. Oh, Jason and Red Hood decide to retire. Well, Jason and Nightwing decide I to become a full-on mom and take care of their kids while their husband is doing hero hero work. But that doesn't mean Diana has not tried to take their kids, believe me. Because Izuku literally went fucking ballistic doomsday on the Amazonians and killed almost all of them. The only two Amazonians that were still alive are, well... Well, seriously, I mean, it's, it's uh, Diana and Diana's mom. He only spared those two. Mostly because he wants to watch them suffer and in sorrow. Oh. So yeah, you can imagine that. Now, the punit not bleh. I nearly said the Punisher, what if? If. Now, in case you're wondering, I will do another what if. If. And you already know what the other what if is going to be. The hero killer what if. With a certain background. Now, if you haven't noticed the community trailer, I will launch that. And it's going to be yet another straight what if. But before I do that one, I'm going to do a gay what if. Because, let's face it, I'm not a big fan of doing straight what ifs. For some fucking reason, it feels wrong. I don't know why. I, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's the what if. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos. And I will see you guys in the next vid. And also, oh, to all, I forgot to mention this in the first video, oh, we hit 100 what if, and one shot what ifs. Believe me, I was actually as shocked as you all. I didn't even know I could hit that many. So, um, happy late uh, 120 something what ifs. I know we hit the 20s. No need to doubt my mind. So anyway, See ya, guys!